Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Today's story is called Boy's Best Friend. Like all little boys, Pinocchio wanted a puppy. And like all little boys, he promised to feed it and walk it and do everything and anything required to take care of it. Puppies are a lot of work, Geppetto told his son. And puppies like to chew things like slippers and wood. The toy maker glanced over at the rows and rows of wooden toys on his workbench. No, I don't think a dog is a good idea, he said finally. That afternoon, when Pinocchio returned from school, Geppetto had a present waiting for him. The boy wasted no time in opening the box. It's a dog, Pinocchio said, trying to hide his disappointment. A wooden dog, not wanting to hurt Geppetto's feeling. Pinocchio thanked his father and placed the toy on his bed. A few days later, as Pinocchio was walking home from school, he heard a puppy whimpering in an alleyway. With a little coaxing, the puppy emerged. Why, you look just like the wooden dog my father carved for me, Pinocchio said. Pinocchio wondered what to do. Well, I can't leave you here all by yourself, he decided. The boy went home and tied the dog to a tree a few doors up the street. Then he sneaked the puppy a bowl of food and went back inside. After Geppetto had fallen asleep, Pinocchio slipped outside and scooped up the dog. Now you're going to have to be very quiet, he warned. Once inside, the puppy sprang from Pinocchio's arm and made a dash for Figaro. As the dog bounded after the fleeing cat, they upset chairs and knocked over crockery. Look out! cried Pinocchio. Geppetto soon appeared in his nightclothes. What's going on here? he said. Well, Pinocchio began. Suddenly the puppy sprang onto Pinocchio's bed, knocking the wooden dog beneath it. Geppetto blinked. The puppy looked just like the toy he had made for his son. Could it be? The toy me caressed. Pinocchio, you wanted a puppy so much that the blue fairy must have turned your toy dog into a real one. Pinocchio just picked up the pup and brought it over to me, Geppetto. A day later, when Pinocchio finally found the courage to tell Geppetto the truth, the little puppy was in no danger of becoming an orphan again. Well, Geppetto said affectionately when he found the pup carrying the wooden dog around the house. I suppose we have room for two dogs here, especially if one of them walks the other. The end.